Hey guys, what's up? It's Andrew Vanna here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review of this new guitar I just got. It is an Agile Pendulum Pro Dual uh, semi-custom shop guitar. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the fan frets right here. So this guitar has a 25 inch scale length on the high E string and a 27 inch scale length on the low F sharp string. Um, so a lot of people are wondering what exactly fan frets do. Um, and basically, it just means the guitar's neck, or not the neck, but the scale length is shorter on the top and longer on the bottom. So uh, it holds your tuning better and it's more ergonomic, ergonomic to play. Um, and what I mean by that is uh, on normal guitars, the frets are straight and that doesn't really match how your hands move when, they, when you play a guitar uh, because your hand kind of naturally curves. Uh, when you move it on the neck. So the idea of fan fret guitars is so that the frets match um, the way your hand is facing depending where it is on the neck. And so the first question I got asked a lot was uh, how the learning curve was for a fan fret guitar. Um, this is the first time I had ever used one before. Um, I know a lot of people are interested in buying one but aren't quite sure because they've never tried one. Um, well, it took me about half an hour to get used to using it. Um, for the first half an hour, it was a little weird because when you're looking down at the neck, um, the frets aren't exactly where you'd expect them to be based on you know any other guitar you've played before. But like I said, it only took about half an hour and then I was fine and now I can play this just like any other guitar. And switching between this guitar and a uh, normal fretted guitar is not a problem at all. It doesn't affect my playing or anything like that. And so the second question I got asked was about the neck profile or the neck width of Agile guitars. Um, I usually buy Ibanez guitars because I like uh, the thin necks that they have, um, but the one on this one is actually pretty good as well. Um, it's not much thicker than like uh, an Ibanez Wizard 2 neck, maybe just like a tiny bit thicker than that, um, but it's very smooth, very playable, very fast, um, and I really like it, I have no problems with it. Uh, this guitar also has a neck through, which is really nice. The third question was just about the general playability of the guitar. Um, the only two things that I don't like about this guitar right now is uh, because the pickups are angled, I find it kind of gets in the way sometimes because um, I usually pick around here. So for the first like day or two, I found myself hitting this pickup a lot. Um, I've kind of adjusted the way I play accordingly um, to avoid that now. So again, just takes a little getting used to. Um, the only other thing I don't like is the, uh, the edge right here is very harsh. Uh, I don't know if that's just me, but when I play my arm rests right on this edge right here. And normally on uh, Ibanez and a lot of other guitars, they kind of smooth that out, but on this one it's a very rough edge. So that's a minor complaint. The next question I had was about the, er, uh, the intonation and how well it stays in tune. Um, when I play guitar, I pick really hard. Uh, even, you know, I've I played it live once now and through recording and uh, all that stuff. Uh, I find it stays in tune really well. Uh, the next thing to talk about is the pickups. These are the stock uh, Agile brand CPS pickups, which I had heard were not that good, um, but I actually think they're pretty decent. Um, I usually don't use active pickups, uh, but I actually like these ones a lot. Um, they're much better than I anticipated them being because I heard so much negative, so many negative things about them. But uh, I don't know. I think that they're pretty good. Um, I would definitely swap them out uh, later on down the line. But for stock pickups, they're not nearly as bad as a lot of people make them out to be. Um, so now I'm going to talk about the overall finish and quality of the build of this guitar. The overall quality is really good. Uh, nothing feels, you know, like loose or poorly built. I mean, it was a semi-custom, so it should feel that way, and it does. Um, everything seems pretty solid to me so far. Um, yeah, not really any complaints about the overall quality or finish or build of the guitar at all. All of the frets feel pretty leveled off uh, when, you, when you're sliding your hand up the neck, none of them catch your fingers or anything like that, so the quality of the build there is pretty good. So yeah, that's my review of the Agile Pendulum Pro Dual uh, semi-custom fan for a 25 to 27 inch guitar. I think that's <laughs> the entire title. 
Um, yeah, so all in all, I would recommend Agile and their guitars to your friend. I'm very happy with this guitar, and uh, other than a few very minor things like pickup changes and you know this being sharp, the overall quality of this guitar is really good, and I would definitely recommend that you guys try it out.